Belveth is an auto attacker with infinite scaling attack speed, stacking from farming large jungle monsters and killing champions. Belveth's passive has two passives. First, after casting an ability, Belveth gains two stacks for five seconds, up to six stacks total. While she has stacks, she is ghosted and gains 25 to 50% attack speed based on level. Her second passive grants her stacks of lavender after taking down a champion or large monster. Monsters grant one lavender and epic monsters and champions grant two. Each stack of lavender grants her 0.25% to 1.25% bonus attack speed based on level, at the cost that she cannot gain attack speed per level like other champions. She both scales her attack speed by farming monsters and champions and gaining stacks. But how much those stacks give also increase with level, making her attacks very rapid by late game. Her attacks can also exceed the attack speed cap of 2.5, but all of her attacks, including AD damage and on hit effects, only deal 75% of their normal damage. Belveth's Qs are four directional dashes, each with their own 16 to 12 second cooldown, and a one second cooldown between them. The dashes deal physical damage and apply on hit and on spell effects to enemies she passes through, and also resets her basic attack timer. Like Yasuo and Yone, the Q's cooldown is reduced by attack speed equal to 0.25 ability haste per 1% bonus attack speed. Belveth's W is a linear AoE knockup like an Aatrox first Q without a sweet spot, dealing magic damage and knocking enemies up for 0.75 seconds. It additionally slows them after the knockup, kinda like Shogaf Q, by 50% for 1.25 to 2.25 seconds. It scales with 100% bonus AD, but also 125% AP. Hitting a champion with the W will also refresh that direction's Q cooldown. Belveth's E is like a Master Yi Meditate that also rapidly attacks her nearest target. She channels, gaining 70% damage reduction and 20-28% lifesteal for the duration. She can't move or take other actions during the channel, but rapidly slashes the nearest enemy with the lowest current health percentage. The base damage is rather low, but it does also apply on hit, on attack, and on spell effects, starting at only 6% effectiveness per hit, but the damage and effectiveness scales up to 24% based on the target's missing health. The ability can hit the nearest enemy even if they are stealthed. The number of attacks increases with attack speed, starting at 6 attacks but adding an extra attack for every 33.3% bonus attack speed Belveth has. Belveth's ultimate passive deals 6 to 10 bonus true damage, scaling with 12% bonus AD on every second attack on the same target, similar to Vayne's W. The damage increases with every subsequent true damage hit, stacking infinitely but capped to 5 against epic monsters. Her ultimate active can only target Void Coral. Coral will spawn when Belveth takes down a champion or epic monster, lasting 15 seconds. On casting, Belveth consumes the Coral, slowing nearby enemies while she channels like a Nunu ultimate, exploding to deal true damage to caught enemies, scaling with 100% AP and 25-35% to of the target's missing health like a crazy AoE Garen and Nunu ultimate, but kinda telegraphed. Once done, Belveth assumes her true form for 3 minutes, going Super Saiyan and increasing her range by 50-100 to 100 based on ability level, increasing her total attack speed by 10-20%, to 20%, increasing her bonus health by 100-200, to 200, scaling with 165% bonus AD and 90% AP, and increasing movement speed by 25-75. to 75. Eating more Void Coral while in her true form refreshes the duration and heals Belveth for 100-200 to 200 health. Void Coral dropped from Rift Herald and Baron Nasher are enhanced. These Void Coral give Belveth's true form the additional ability to spawn Void Remora from nearby dying lane minions. Void Remora are like Z-Rot Portal Voidlings or like Yorick's Mistwalkers that walk down the lane like regular minions. As fast as possible. I tried. As always, numbers and more can potentially change in future patches so please keep that in mind. Going for auto attack items sounds great, but keep in mind she only has 125 base range and is pretty squishy and kinda slow without true form. Some tanky or bruiser items can go a long way, like Titanic Hydra, though high damage items like Kraken Slayer do have a certain allure, and I'm sure there'll be some funny meme full AP builds at some point. In which case, Nash's Tooth and Lich Bane are good fits. Thanks for watching.